Welcome back children. Today we will go through part 2 of chapter number 6 formatting a document. Okay. So in our last class we have learned how to change the font style of the text. Along with that I have also showed you how to change the alignment of the text. So in today's content we are going to learn how to change the change case of the text in Microsoft Word. Okay. Change case means changing the case that is the sentence case lower case upper case and so on okay and changing the line spacing and paragraph spacing that is the space between the line and the space between the paragraph so let us begin so here i have already typed a few line here to show you the change case option okay now you can change the case of an existing text without retyping it in Microsoft Word by using a change case option. Okay. Suppose say if your teacher asks you to type all those things in a small letter, then what will you do? Will you again delete all the text and type in small letter? No, we will not do that one. Okay. So for this, there is some special feature we call as a change case so that accordingly you can change the type of the text okay so we call this as a change case now before going through you need to be very very careful about the tabs if you see at the top you can see this we call this as a home tab insert tab paragraph tab and so on accordingly in in the ribbon we call this as a ribbon there are different types of group okay so if you want to work with the any kind of activity in microsoft word you have to very very careful which tab you are clicking and in which group you are working on okay so you can see that all my texts here are in the capital letter so we call the capital letter as an uppercase okay so for this if you want to see the change case option then see under the home tab okay we call this as a home tab and in the font group we call this as a font group let me repeat once again in home tab and under the font group you will see one button here okay with the capital letter a and a small letter a so you can see there we call this as a change case option so if you click on this option it will show a list of change case that is sentence case lower case upper case capitalize each word and a toggle case so so now let us go through what are these cases okay now first let me select this text okay after selecting this text let me go to the change case button now first is sentence case now what is a sentence case so capitalize the first letter of the selected sentence so what happens generally in when we write the sentence the first letter of the text will be in capital okay so we we call this as a sentence case now let me click on this sentence case you can see that only the first letter in a sentence is capital okay so we call this as a sentence case now let me select another text here okay again let me go back to the change case button next is lower case okay so what does the lower case do it will convert the selected text to the lower case lower case means small letter so if you want to write or convert the text into the small letter simply go to the change case button and click on lowercase option you, you can see that all the text has changed into a small letter okay now again let me select the third text here again go to the change case option now uppercase uppercase means if you want to convert the text or the selected text to the capital letter so it's already in the capital letter okay so we call this as an uppercase now let me go to the next text and select it again let me go back to the change case button now capitalize each one now what does this mean now this option will change the first character of each selected word to the uppercase uppercase means now see in each word okay suppose in new only n will be the capital letter in delhi only d will be the capital letter okay so in this way in 
each and every word or a word sorry so all the first letter will be capital and rest will be a small letter okay so we call this as a capitalize each word so let me select the text here after selecting the text go to the change case option click on capitalize each word now you can see here that the first letter of the word are in capital letter rest are in small letter okay so we call this as capitalize each word now the next is toggle case okay so the to toggle case will convert the case of every selected character into the reverse manner okay suppose say let me select this text india is my country okay again go back to the change case option here so just click on the toggle case here so if you click on the toggle case what will happen here you can see that the first letter is in small letter rest are in the capital letter okay so similarly let me select this text after selecting this text let me again go back to the toggle uh, sorry change case button okay click on the toggle case now here you can see that the case has been selected case means here the first letter was in capital letter now the first letter is in small letter rest are in capital okay now if i select it once again now see here let me go to the change case button once again if you click on toggle case what will happen those small letters are will become a capital letter and those the letters that are in capital will become a small letter okay so click on toggle case so you can see text has been converted into a reverse manner okay so we call this as changing a case so from the next time if you want to change the case of a text suppose say if you want to make the text a capital letter or a small letter so no need to delete that all the text what you need to do is simply select the text okay so after selecting the text you need to go to the change case option okay and click on the required change case whether it is a sentence case whether it is a lower case whether it is a upper case capitalize each word or a toggle case okay now let me click on the cap upper case option here you can see that the, all the text has become capital letter once again okay now the next is line and paragraph spacing okay so what is line spacing so line spacing is the vertical distance between the successive line of the text in the document means the space this space okay the space between the first and the second line or the space between the text so we call this as a line spacing and the space between the paragraph you can see here there are two paragraph here this is paragraph one and this is my paragraph number two so this particular area okay we call this as a space between the paragraph now let me start with the line spacing so we all know that if we want to apply any kind of formatting option first we need to select the text okay so let me select the text now how to increase how to increase the space between the text or a sentence okay so for this you need to go to the home tab now under the paragraph group okay so we call this as a paragraph group i'm talking about this button we call this as line spacing button okay so click on the drop down arrow of the line spacing button so there are some line spacing option like 1.5 if you click on 1.5 you can see here the space between the line has increased okay so let me select this paragraph and let me go back to the line spacing under the paragraph group once again now if you want to increase the space between the line suppose say if i keep it in 2.5 so you can see that the space between the line has increased okay so always remember that if you want to increase the space between the line then you need to go to the line spacing button under the paragraph group in the home tab okay now the next one is a spacing between the paragraph now you can see that this is my first paragraph this is my second paragraph and this is my third paragraph 
okay so let me select one of the paragraph suppose the par this one okay paragraph number two now how to increase the space above the paragraph and the space below the paragraph okay so for this we need to go to the page layout tab so you can see a page layout tab here click on the page layout tab okay now under the paragraph group you can see the spacing option here okay so before before means the space above the selected paragraph and after means the spacing after the selected paragraph now if i click here suppose say the before okay now see here you can see that the space between the say uh, the above text so the above paragraph and the selected paragraph will get increased now suppose if i click after so what will happen here you can see that the space after the selected paragraph will get increased so this is my selected paragraph so you can see that the if you want to increase the space above the paragraph then you have to click on before tab here and if you want to increase the space after the selected text then you have to click on after option here okay so this is how we increase or decrease the paragraph suppose let me select this paragraph once again now if you want to decrease the space between the two paragraph so click on before just decrease the paragraph in this way okay now if you want to decrease the space between the paragraph these two paragraph okay the second and the third paragraph then just decrease the size in the after box okay you can see so in this way you can increase or decrease the space that is the spacing between the paragraph so is it clear